The giving screen allows you to enter contributions from your donors, generate contribution statements, and even create pledge campaigns for your ministry. So let me show you how to get started with the giving screen. So to get to the giving screen, select the giving and pledges tab. Now from here, you can go ahead and enter contributions into church track. Now, before you enter your contributions, I always recommend first creating your categories. And so to create your categories, select this categories tab, and then you can select the add button to add your categories. And so things like your general offerings, your building campaign, missions, those are kind of the categories you want to create. And another thing too, I do wanna point out, not to get too far ahead of ourselves, but when you create your categories, you can actually designate whether or not that category is for use for online giving. Another thing worth noting here is that when you create your categories, you can specify whether that category is tax deductible. So be sure to mark them properly. So if you do have certain areas where people are giving that are not tax deductible, you wanna make sure that you have that marked as no for that particular one. Okay, so let's talk about entering contributions. So to enter contributions, you go to the contributions tab and you select the add button to generate a batch date. And so I can pick today or, and let's say today is Tuesday. I'm just gonna call it Tuesday, but you can really name these whatever you'd like in the description and then add date. Now I can start adding these contributions. So to add a contribution, I'll select the add contributions button. Now from here, I can start typing out a person's name or their member number if I'm using member numbers. And so for this situation, I'll just say Emily, and just an FYI, this is why it's so important to add your names into church track first. That way you're not having to go back and forth adding names as you're entering your donations. This just makes life a lot easier. So now I'll say Emily, she is giving to our church. She donated $100 to our general offerings. It is tax deductible. And let's say she gave with a check and the check number was 907. And then I can select add this contribution. And there we go, I've just added a contribution and I can continue this process. So let's say Ron donated to our church as well. And Ron gave $50 to the general offerings, but Ron also gave $50 to our building campaign. So that little plus button I hit there, that brings down another line to where I can go ahead and type another one. So I can say $50 and then building campaign. There we go. And then for this situation, I can say that Ron gave with cash. And so you have different types of donations you can put in here. So add this contribution and there we go. Now I can continue this process, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit close. Now, if you are in a situation where you are wanting to add maybe like an entire year's worth of giving from last year um, from a Excel sheet or something like that, you can actually import contributions as well. And I highly recommend this as it will save you a lot of time if you already have your giving data in an Excel sheet that you can export to a CSV into church track. And so the way you import your transactions is you select any giving date, doesn't matter what date it is, select the actions button, and then from here, you can select import contributions. And then you just drag and drop that CSV file of those contributions right here. And then church track will go ahead and create all of the dates, add in the amounts, who they were given by into the proper categories. And this is why you wanna have all your categories and people added into church track ahead of time if you are importing your contributions like this. Another thing worth noting as well is that ChurchTrack does work with other online giving providers, and so you can actually import the files that they export as well. So that is a really handy thing to use, highly recommend it. Um, so that's how you import contributions. Now, when it comes to generating contributions and statement, it's just a couple clicks. Go to your reports tab, and then you'll go ahead and pick your start date and your end date for this contribution statement. Now it's pretty common to see churches pick January 1st of the previous year to December 31st, but you can select any dates that you'd like. So from here, I'll just pick January 1st of last year, December 31st, it's already selected. And now I could print out a contribution statement for every family or every individual. I can also include a pledge campaign summary. And from here, I can just select view report and then the software will go ahead and generate a contribution statement for every single person at our church that's donated during that time period with every donation that they've given, including in-kind donations as well. And so it has all the information you need for that person, their address, your church's address, everything right there at their fingertips. And so you can mail those off to your people. You can even email contribution statements. We can check out our user guide article that talks about how to do that. 
Now, another thing worth pointing out here is there is the ability to create pledge campaigns in Church Track. I just want to quickly throw this out there. When you are creating pledge campaigns in Church Track, make sure you create a unique category for that specific pledge campaign. That'll save you a little bit of frustration as you try to generate reports later on. So every pledge campaign needs to have its own category. Now, one other tip I do want to point out here is that whenever you are Import, putting in all your contributions into church track, you have the ability to lock a batch giving date. And this is really great for just keeping your records intact. Maybe you have multiple people that are interacting with your giving screen and you don't want things to accidentally get double entried, or maybe you just want to have that extra security in place so that way things cannot get deleted or changed. Then you can select the actions and then from here, click lock batch. And this will lock that giving batch. Now, just a quick heads up, you cannot delete a batch that's locked and you cannot edit it. So whenever you select okay, this is set in stone and the only way to change it is to reach out to our support team to be able to change that. So just know that. Now, when it comes to the easiest way to give, well, that's online giving. And ChurchTrack has online giving built right in through our integration with Stripe. So we have another video that walks through the process of how to set up online giving. It only takes about 20 minutes or so. Um, all you need is your EIN for your ministry, as well as just basic billing information and information for your church's bank account to set that up. And then once you set that up, you have options available in which you can link your online giving to your church's existing website or use it in tandem with Church Connect, which is the church app built right into Church Track. Um, and you also have many online giving options. For example, giving people the ability to donate with ACH, which is the best way for your church to save money when it comes to online giving fees. Um, you can even give donors the option to cover the fees and you can even allow tax giving through the platform as well. So that is getting started with the giving screen. Uh, to learn more about online giving and anything else giving related or anything for that matter in Church Track, just check out our online user guide. It is filled with hundreds of articles and step-by-steps and videos, which I really appreciate. And speaking of videos, our entire library of videos and all of our previous live streams are on our YouTube channel. So be sure to check that out as well and hit subscribe. Well, I've got some giving to enter. I'll see you later.